Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to all my friends in the chat and welcome to everyone that will watch the replay later on. I see lots of names that I recognize. Krista, Missy, Beth, Jasmine. Let's see here. Krista, Dansky, Nanette, Tammy. Hello, hello, Cheryl, Julie, Gretchen, Rachel. Hello, hello, Martha. There's my neighbor. There's Tanya. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So we are going to jump in to a two-part crafty series that I'm going to use the new front porch builder dies. I'm going to start out tonight by creating just the basic front porch. So the little uh, base set. And then next Monday, we're going to deck the halls on our front porch and we're going to decorate what we make tonight we're going to get it ready for Christmas. So I hope you'll stick around tonight and to see how the builder set, just the basic set goes together. And then on Monday night, we're going to deck the halls for Christmas. So I hope you'll come back and join me Monday as well. All right. I'm going to go down to my desk view here and I have both of those die sets. So this is what, what is the front porch builder set. So this is the base for everything. So we have this piece here that has all the beautiful stonework in it. And then we, of course, we've got all the little layering sets to really um, make your front porch beautiful. You can see here that we've got all the embossing details and all the little pieces. So it's going to make it really easy to make our front porch really pretty with lots and lots of those great details in there. Okay, so this is the, the front porch set. And then we have the Christmas or holiday add-on set that's got the layering snowman, the little wreath, it's got Christmas lights, a little tree, bows, and the little ribbon swag that we can add to the porch. And we're going to do this part on Monday, but tonight is going to be all about how to build and how you can kind of step up your front porch just a little bit. Okay. So I've got all of my uh, pieces cut out of different colors of cardstock. And so this is what I have done for that background piece, which is the base of everything for our front porch. You can see that I have kind of fancied up just a little bit the stonework back there just to make it pop out of the details. Now, if I hold this up, all I have done, you guys know how I like to cheat with all of those embossing lines. And I like to kind of just trace along with a colored pencil. And I have traced along the grout lines in that stonework. It only it took about five minutes, really. Somebody mentioned over in the chat that they like to watch Survivor. I put on an old episode of Survivor today and sat and just traced along those lines. And you'll notice that I also colored in some of those little stones, a different color of um, a lighter color of gray to make it look like we had, you know, kind of a log cabin stone porch going on here. Okay, so this is our base piece. Enough talking about that. And then we start moving on to our roof pieces or some of the other builder pieces. Now these, if I hold them up and I'm going to try to catch them in the light here, you can see here the columns have all that great wood detail, just like, um, you, you know, the pillars on a porch or something like that. Now I have masked off because I wanted to see what it would look like. I have masked off um, this portion here to brush on color to make that a different color for like the shingles or the roof part. And then we've got all of our other little layering pieces. And this is what we're going to start working on here. So I'm going to lay out <clears throat> these and anywhere there is the wood grain, I'm going to brush a little bit of color onto that because I'm going to try to make that wood grain really pop out. Let me see if I can squeeze in here just a little bit so maybe you guys can see. And I've just got my little wax melt mat out and I'm going to use that for my ink blending. And I'm simply going to go over, of course, I've got my dirty brushes out. I'm going to go over with my dirty brushes. I don't want to change 
the colors a whole lot. I just want to make that wood grain really pop out. And do you see now how that is starting to um, kind of pop out there and have more of those details that show up when we do now that now is do we have to do all this? No. Is it fun for all of us crafters and card makers and scrapbookers and all that to add in all kinds of details? Absolutely. I like to do all that stuff. So <clears throat> I'm going to keep working my way around here. Now, this is it looks by first glance, it looks a lot more complicated than what it really is. But when you start laying out all of our pieces, it, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory where they go. Now there is a layering guide that comes along with this die set that's going to show you, you know, to give you some examples of color combinations and things like that. But it's also going to show you where all of these little pieces go. Okay. Let me move some stuff out of the way here. Let me find my other little wood angle piece that I have going on here. And I'm just going to give those a little bit of a brush down just like that. Okay. Now we've got our front door here. And again, it's got all those little embossed lines in it. It even has just a simple little doorknob. Now I'm going to take a gold marker, gold paint pen, and I'm going to add in, I'm going to start it off right over there. I'm going to add in a little doorknob and be on the lookout for when we do little add-on sets of this, um, you know, different front doors, different little arch or something maybe. I can't give away all the secrets, maybe a different doorknob, but I'm going to add that in gold because I know on Monday that we're going to deck this out for Christmas. You could even add, you know, little house numbers on there in, in your handwriting or whatever you wanted to do. But I'm going to add that. I'm going to lay that up there. Don't let it dry. And then I know that I also want to go over while well, I've got my gold pen out. Um, the There are details in this little mailbox. And I am simply... I'm not freehanding this. I'm only tracing what is pressed into the paper. So I'm just going to go around and I'm trying to get my old eyeballs here to kind of see all those little lines pressed. And there's a line right around the top. And I'm just going to carefully go right around like that. And then I've got a cute little mailbox. Okay, so nothing fancy. It's not perfect, but that's okay, right? Okay, now layering front door. So this on screen, this yellow that I have penciled in, it looks like highlighter yellow. I promise you it is not that bright in real life. It's my bright lights in here. It, it looks like the glow from like lamps or candles or something like that in real life. But on the, the uh, screen, it looks like I have taken a bright yellow school highlighter and then just gone all over the top of that. But honestly, I have it. Okay. Now that we've got that done, let's do our little layering topiary. So we've got the little topper piece, we have the base here, and then there's a little pot. I'm going to take the same brown that I did kind of that wood grain look here, and I don't need to be super careful with this because we're going to layer this together. I just want to cover up um, the stem there. Now, I could have cut that out of brown paper. I honestly sat here with scraps of paper and just die cut things. I really wasn't paying a whole lot of attention, um, especially for these pieces, of what color was what. I'm going to just brush on some green, some rustic wilderness for the top of my topiary. Now this has little details in, pressed in it as well. So if I wanted to take a pencil and let's say I'm going to do 
like a uh, darker kind of olive green, you could simply do the little squiggles, go right around like so, and kind of cheat like I do, if you like to do that. And then add in those little kind of details for the little boxwood look of the topiary. Now, there's also, if I can get it here, there is the little pot for our topiary to sit in. Now, this has little pressed details as well. Let's go ahead and let's add some adhesive here, just some little dots. And I'm going to start building my little topiary, and then we're going to get this front porch all put together. Now, for this piece, I probably will not add this topiary to our front porch tonight because I know on Monday that I'm going to deck this out for the holidays with the Christmas add-on. And so I'm not going to use the topiary on my finished card, but that's what it's going to look like. And I'm actually going to take my green right around those edges just like so and finish that off. Okay, so we've got that little guy. I'm going to put him up here with my mailbox and then let's start building. I think all my little pieces, let's see, I've got the little coach light here. We can put the coach light together and the base for it is going to look like highlighter, yellow highlighter as well. Just know that that is just a soft yellow glow that I used a yellow colored pencil just to add just a little something back there. I'm gonna add a little dab there and then I can place that right over the top and we're gonna shimmy these die cuts together. So we have the little coach light. Now there's, it comes with one coach light, but if you wanted to do two and then add that, you know, on both sides of your porch and have one on either side, you could make one that hangs down like a little, like a little lantern or a little, you know, how people have um, almost a little outdoor chandelier, almost something like that. You could do that, but lots of fun little details here. I'm going to add that up there to my little finished pile and then let's get this out of the way and let's start building our cute little porch. Let's see here, put some clear lacquer to make it look like glass. Yes, so you guys, I can tell that you guys are my crafty buddies because you guys like all the little details and all the little fun things like I do. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with my base piece that has the stonework on it. And I'm gonna add in first this piece that has the little roof line that I have here and the pillars, the wooden pillars that go down the front. And I'm just going to kind of, you know, shimmy everything around, make sure everything is in its spot and then hold it down for just a second before that glue has time to dry. Let me check this here. Make sure my shimmy is all good pinch it down. Okay. And now you can see where we've got our pretty little stonework. If you wanted to cut this out of white, you could do that and do, or you could do brown. You could do that however you wanted to. There's even, as you can see right up there back behind, there's the slats back in there that look like a shiplap or a board and batten or whatever you want to call it. Just so many really fun details. Okay. So let's move on. I'm going to take this piece next. I'm going to add just some little dots. Okay. And I'm going to lay that down. And it's going to line up with the arch of the porch here. It's also going to line up right in here. And I'm going to kind of pick this up. And I'm going to make sure all my little porch pieces and all my little areas are all glued down. And now you can see why I wanted to color that dark 
roof line right back there is because I wanted it to blend in and be the same color gray as those. And I should have colored that right there. I did a boo-boo right there. Let's see if I can darken it up without making a mess. There we go. That's not too bad. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's move on. The next thing I can add is the pitch to the roof here and the little decorative little pieces that go right in here. So I'm going to add, I'm going to do the little decorative angled pieces first. And so, and this is like a lot of our lovely layers, florals and things. So in the places that you see that there are the embossed areas, you're not going to want to cover those up with the upper layers. This place right here that is flat and doesn't have any embossing, that's where all of our little details are going to go. So I know for this little angled piece that I'm going to want to cover up and layer my paper over the part that didn't have any of the embossing. And so all those little wooden details and um, looks like we've had some kind of fancy, um, what do you call those people? Woodworker or carpenter or something like that. A log cabin builder. We've had them come out and we've had them put these really pretty wood pieces onto our front porch. And I'm going to hold that down. Okay. All right. So this is what we're looking like so far. Let's put the little point. Let me get right. I'm going to add just a little dot right there and get the little point. Let's see. I need some friends. It's grandkids 24 seven around here. Oh, Letty, you can be my friend. Okay. I'm going to add just a little bit to the pitch on our roof and it's going to go right down here. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to shimmy it around. And get it into place before my adhesive sets up. Right there. Okay, so this is what we're looking at like so far. See all those great little layering pieces. And so if you want to have this all in white and have all the details in white, you could do that. You know, uh, a black roof or black background, white stone or brown stonework. You can really transform it into anything that you want it to be. Okay, now let's start doing our little door and area. And I'm going to start out with this base of the door that looks like we've put highlighter on it. And I'm going to add a little adhesive to the back. You can tell I've used my scrap paper here to cut all of these out. And then I'm just going to center this and kind of butt it up on the bottom. And again, I kind of like to hold everything up right in front of my eyes to make sure I'm getting it pretty straight. Let's see, would you just put a rectangle piece in the back to make a card? Yes, I'm going to do that on Monday night, actually. I'm going to make this whole thing. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to deck it out with all the Christmas add-on. And then I'm going to make this into a card. So you'll have to, this is a two-part series that we have going on here. We do this sometimes. Okay, now, uh, now I'm going to add my little door. So let's add a little bit of adhesive. Somebody mentioned that they have a black front door. I have a black front door at my house as well. I've had red doors. I've had black doors. You could make it any color that you want it to be. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Let's put the black details on for the little side lights here. And I'm just going to add barely just some little tiny dots here. And I'm going to grab my 
tweezers and I can flip it over. Again, this, uh, the white has embossed details. We've tilted. Do you see where it's embossed back there? So I know exactly where all these little pieces need to go. So I can add that right over the top. <clears throat> And then I'm going to hold that into place. All right. Now let's take this side and let's do the same thing. So we have matching sides. Add just some little dots. Okay. And I'm actually going to switch grips here. And then again, I'm just going to line it up with the embossed lines on that side. And shimmy it around to make sure everything is in its spot. Okay. Now we've got the little arch. So let's add some little dots. There we go. And then I'm going to line that up right over the window part. And I'm going to use my tweezers, just kind of barely shimmy that around so I can get it to stay and go in the, where I want it to go. That's starting to look like little glowy windows in there now. Okay, there we go. Now we've got some dimensional little pillars that finish off this area right in here. And I'm going to, let's see here. Let me pick it up this way and then flip it over. And then I'm going to add that in and we're going to add that to the door. And I'm going to hold that piece down. We're cooking right along here with our little front porch. And here. And then if you're just coming in this is our new lovely layers front porch and this is the uh i'm going to call it the the base builder set okay so this is going to what's going to give us like the base of all the other things and then monday night i hope you'll come back because i'm going to use the holiday add-on that is all about <clears throat> decorating our front porch for the holidays. I'm going to add those things on and then make a, a card out of this front porch. Okay, I'm adding the base to our wooden pillars and their little stone bases, little stone work to go around the base and finish them off. Here we go. Okay. Now on one side, on one side, I'm going to add the mailbox. I think we'll add it right about there. Just like so. And then the other side, I'm going to add our little coach light. I'm going to add him a little bit higher, maybe right up in there. It would be off to the side. Okay, this is what we have so far. And then if we were adding our little topiaries, you could cut two and have one on each side of the door. But you can see here, if I hold it up, how adorable 
you know, let's do it on the other side and show our little doorknob. How adorable this would be with the little topiary added in. So this is what I'm going to like our everyday front porch. Welcome to your home. Thank you for your hospitality. You know, any of those types of things or just a hello friend. Lots of little cute things. Okay. All right. So let me go. I'm going to split the screen here. All right. And then this is what we're going to do on Monday. So we have the layering snowman. There's a wreath that's going to go on the front door. There's strands or strings of Christmas lights. There's like a bunting or a ribbon or banner that can stretch across. We're going to add some glittery shimmery bows. There's a layering little potted Christmas tree that can go on the front porch. So tonight you have seen the, the basic uh, front porch die set. On Monday night, we're going to build a card and we're going to turn it. We're going to deck the halls for the holidays. Okay, so let's see what you guys are saying about the front porch. Mary, uh, Mary Lynn said, this is so much fun. It's so pretty. Love, love all the details. Yes, yeah, so cute. I can't wait to see the holiday one. Yes, so I'm going to leave. We're going to have suspense, friends. So Monday night, I want you guys to come back and join me because I am going to make this. And I'm actually going to make this right here, the front of my card. So you're going to be able to lift this like this. I'm going to add a hinged back and I'm going to make this the front of my card. But we're going to deck this out for the holidays and make it super glittery, super fun and um, really fancy. Some, Missy said so fancy. It is going to be so fancy for the holidays. All right. All right, Lisa, you know what time it is tonight? It is time for our giveaway. And then I want everybody to promise to come back and join me on Monday night and hang out. The cliffhanger, the season cliffhanger. That is right. Let's see here. Brighton was listening to your instructions the whole time. Oh, let's see. Who was that? Who? Oh, it's Tanya. Give the baby kisses for us, Tanya. So cute. I bought the set. Oh, yay. All right. Did I miss Lisa's giveaway? I don't think I did. Lisa said, Roberta S., you are the winner. Congratulations, Roberta. So, Roberta, what I need you to do is I need you to email me, Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y, at honeybeestamps.com, and I am going to send you a gift card, my friend. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining me for the base of our front porch builder. Come back Monday for the holiday add-on, and we're going to deck out our front porch. I'll see you on Monday. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your week, my friends. Bye-bye.